guys, welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. So today's video is gonna be a recap for semester three. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So I don't know if you guys have been watching my updates throughout this semester, but um, I've had five classes and I'm happy to announce that I finished. I had my last final yesterday. So actually, I took my last final on Wednesday, December 14th. I just so happened to film the video the day after. That's why I said that I took the final yesterday. Sorry. And so I was taking regional anesthesia. I was taking anesthesia for coexisting diseases, advanced patho 2, uh, surgical procedures 1, and um, a health informatics class online. So. The health informatics class, it was just a matter of answering a discussion question once a week and re re responding, I was, say, I was saying responding and replying in the same word and it just wasn't coming out. So, and you respond to three of your classmates um, and that seemed pretty doable. It really wasn't that difficult. Um, and then we had a paper and um, we had to present like a, um, a PowerPoint presentation just doing a summary of our paper and I turned those in um, I think in week 11 something like that they were or week 12 they were doing week 13 I believe I don't recall now but I got those turned in on time and I got a hundred in that class so that one really was just something that would um, I would do the discussion posts sometime during the week while I was in school, maybe in between classes, and then I would respond to my classmates at some point. Um, so I really wasn't putting too much time and effort to that class, so I really wasn't really concerned with it, but it did have some times like where it would be a little time consuming and keep me away from studying from other things, but it really wasn't that bad. So that class, I got 100. Next class, I did uh, regional anesthesia, that class was pretty interesting for the most part, going over the blocks, going over the landmarks, um, you know, playing around with the ultrasound machine and looking at the different needles and different techniques. And I enjoyed that class a lot. I do think that in the future, I want to dabble more into regional anesthesia. I think I want to do my capstone project on some sort of regional anesthetic technique. Um, so that's something that I'm going to focus on a lot. But, you know, the actual class itself, it wasn't that bad. Um, we had four exams and then each class we would have, um, it was like a uh, pre-class module. So he would assign us five questions based on the topic we were about to cover. So we had to look it up beforehand and turn it in before class, which was fine. I didn't mind it at all. The five questions were pretty simple. And so the modules were was an assignment and then there was the four tests. So really it was not that bad, not heavy with extra busy work. Um, I didn't mind the modules at all and they were helpful for the test. So the four exams we had, I got on the first exam, I got a 96. On the second exam, I got a 95. Third exam, I got a 90. And the last one, I got a 90. So I ended up with a 94 or something, no. Yeah, I think a 94 in the class. So I'm pretty pleased with that. That's another A down in the books. So then if we're going into the next class, we'll talk about coexisting diseases. So that class had one major paper and then um, a case study as well that I had to present with my classmates earlier on in the semester. Um, she gave me full credit for both of those assignments. And then we had a midterm and a final. Um, the midterm, I got a 92 and the final, I had done the math. I only needed a 77. I studied for that class the day before. So, I mean, I was just hoping to get by and I ended up with an 83. So so I ended up with an A in the class, so that's good enough for me. I had a 92 as my final grade. So that's my third A for the semester. Next class, uh, Patho 2. So Patho 2, the professor was actually nice enough to move the final to week 15 instead of week 16. So we only ended up with having three exams instead of four in the last week, which was awesome. Um, so yeah. The first exam, I got a 98. Second exam, I got a 94. Third exam, we had a lot of papers due around that time. So I had actually, it was funny enough, I, I was talking to him about the test before and he was saying like, oh, I'm sure you'll do fine on the third one. And I was like, I don't know about that because I have a lot of papers coming up. So I'll just give you my best. So on that exam, I got an 87. And then on the last one, I had done the math, I only needed, I think it was a 70 on the final. Yeah, I think it was a 70 on the final in order to maintain an A, and I got a 97. <laughs> So that's awesome. It really did help that I was only studying for that one the week before and then I was able to put all my attention to 
the last class. But anyway, so um, we also had a paper due for that class and he gave me full credit and he would assign some workbooks throughout the semester as well that would help us study for the test and I got full credit for those. So that's what I got in that one. I think it was a final grade of a 96 if I recall. <laughs> so that's my fourth A of the semester and then the last class I had was surgical procedures. So this class I had given updates that I was sitting at a C in this class because I only had one grade that was inputted which is the midterm and I had gotten a 79. It's almost a B so I was just just ever so close. Um, we did have uh, pre-class learning assignments that she would assign as well. It was like a, a, a chapter outline that she would ask us to summarize so that when we got to class we would have somewhat of an idea of what topic we were going to be covering and so that gave us some points also very time-consuming and I don't feel like it helped toward the test I said what I said and then um Aside from the pre-class learning and the exams, we had a paper and we also had a case study as well. I was able to get 100 on the case study and I got a 99 on the paper, which I'm grateful for because last semester she graded me really, really harshly on my paper. I followed the rubric to the T and she said I was only docked a point because of grammar, so that's awesome. And then, um, so I had a 99 on the paper, 100 on the case study, I got a 79 on the midterm, 100 on my pre-class assignments, and then I needed in order to maintain an A in the class. I needed an 81 on the final in order to keep that A, so I got an 84, so <laughs> yay! If you guys did the math, that's five A's. I got a 4.0 this semester. I have been aiming for that the entire year, and I'm happy that I actually was able to get it. So anyway, so yeah, so I got a 4.0 this semester. I'm happy to announce that for those of you that have been watching all my videos and my updates. We, we did it. We got an A in all our classes, and I'm excited because I'm finally free for three weeks. So I'm, I'm just like, what do I do with myself in this time? I was actually in touch with one of the upperclassmen and I asked him if he could get me the syllabus for the same class. I have the same professor that taught general principles, surgical procedures. He's teaching the second part of surgical procedures next semester and there is a ton of busy work assigned in that semester. So I asked him if he would send me the syllabus so I can get ahead of that get ahead on that during the break and that way it won't feel so much of a burden in semester four because semester four has five classes as well but we're going to be taking a board style exam called the C, the SEE -E exam. So that exam we need a uh, I'll have to, when, when I do a C exam prep video, I'll get into details of what scores you need, but we have to pass that in order to get to clinical. So I know I'm gonna be putting a lot of effort toward that exam, but I also wanna make sure that I aim for a 4.0 for next semester as well. Um, so with that being said, that's the update for this one. The end of semester three is that I got all A's. How did I feel about this semester? You know what's funny? is that I feel like I put less of myself, like less of my efforts towards school because I was at a point where I was kind of burnt out and I wanted a break. And I kind of took a step back, like it was more slack in terms of the attention that I put on the classes. I feel like I did a lot of cramming, but I felt like it was effective cramming and I felt like I was actually listening more effectively during the lectures. I don't know how to explain that, but I felt like I, I don't know like I didn't need to study as hard and I was doing better I don't know if maybe my anxiety is what made me do so poorly in the beginning and I wouldn't even say so poorly because I feel like I'm still doing well but I don't know I feel like I wasn't in my head as much and I wasn't overthinking as much and I felt like I did a lot better but yeah so I am looking forward to posting next week about my one year recap and then after that we'll see what's going on for uh Christmas and New Year's and then um, I'll definitely be catching you guys up when I start semester four but we'll see what I fill in in those weeks look out for those videos but other than that that's all I have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye